your phone rings. You weren't expecting a call and you don't recognize the number. It might be a telemarketer, might be a wrong number, but you answer it. On the other end of the line is someone very important. Pick somebody. A friend you haven't talked to in years. The president of Oklahoma State, the Queen of England. Someone very important. They tell you that they are coming to your house to visit you, and they are five minutes away. You panic. My house is a mess. I didn't know anyone was coming. I have dishes in the sink. My bathroom isn't clean. What if they need to use the bathroom? I don't have any clean towels. My bed's not made. I have dirty laundry on the floor. I have nothing in my kitchen to serve this distinguished person. I just wish they would have maybe given me a little more time to get my house in order. You scurry. You move quickly and get it cleaned up and presentable as best you possibly can. The doorbell rings. And there they are, and you invite them in. A distinguished guest is coming to your house and you scramble. You want to make things look presentable for this important person. Quite understandable. We want to put on a good public face, even if everything behind the scenes is a big mess, or even a little mess. Now take that same situation, and Jesus calls you on the phone. He's just checking in on you, he's a few minutes away, and he's going to be knocking on your door in five minutes. But Jesus knows you well enough, and so he says to you, I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking that you need to clean up. I know you're thinking that you need to scurry about and get everything looking presentable for when I show up. Don't. I'm coming in a few minutes and I don't want you to touch a thing. I want to meet you at your house. I know it's a big mess and I'm going to help you clean it. I'm just going to be there a few minutes and when I'm done, your house will be as clean as it was on the day you bought it. In the sacrament of confession, Jesus visits our house and cleans it. When we're sorry for our sins, when we invite Jesus in, we are washed clean. With Jesus, we don't tidy up and then let him in. We let him in to the disorder of our lives, to the messiness. He wants to come in and he can help us with his mercy. During this season of Lent, beginning today, we'll have numerous opportunities, both here and at St. John, to clean your house. As usual here, we'll have confessions from Saturday, on Saturdays from 3 to 4.30, on Wednesdays, except today, from 5.30 to 6.30. On March 15th at the New Parish, we'll be having a night of mercy, where there will be multiple priests available for a couple hours. Before Masses starting today, I'm going to make every effort to be available 15, 20, even 30 minutes before Mass. So if you come early and you see the light on back there and you see my feet sticking out, I'm there. We'll also have a parish mission with Father Michael Pratt on March 25th and 26th. Confessions will be available then too. Today begins Lent. 40 days of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. It is a time, as we heard in the readings, of repentance, a turning back to God from the ways in which we've turned away, a turning back to his covenant, a turning back to the promises made at your baptism, a turning back to the life God wants you to lead, a life of prayer, a life of sacrifice, a life of charity and generosity. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Living a life of holiness, 
living a life of prayer and fasting and almsgiving, a life close to God, is a lot easier when your house is clean.